Sandy and Pedro, good evening to you both. Yeah, LAX tells us it is seeing its highest number of travelers since before the pandemic. Today was the busiest travel day with 48,000 flights scheduled around the country. And if you were on the 405 freeway tonight, you know what I'm talking about when I say it was bumper to bumper traffic, everyone trying to get to their destination in plenty of time. People are loading up their shopping carts, looking for the final touches to their Thanksgiving tables. Is it very crowded inside? A lot of people buying those last minute items? Yes, it's very crowded. Everybody's going for the pumpkin pies, the apple pies. Yeah, you name it, they're in there for it. While others are gearing up for a road trip. I think there's more people driving than flying because the tickets, uh, the price is really high. So Take a look at the video Sky 5 captured over the 405 freeway near the 10 as drivers battled gridlock traffic. Almost 4 million Southern Californians are hitting the road this week. Linda Chen is filling up her tank before heading to San Diego in the morning. You know, make sure that we get on the road before rush hour, you know, um, kind of take our time. We plan that it's probably going to take us two and a half to three hours, we think, you know, so a little bit extra time added in. <laughs> And LAX is anticipating 200,000 people every single day over an 11 day period with its busiest day expected to be the Sunday after Thanksgiving. This overall travel volume of 4.5 million Southern Californians traveling is the highest Thanksgiving travel volume on record. It's two and a half percent higher than last year. Proving that despite inflation and higher gas prices, people are prioritizing travel like Tracy Coggins and her sister Tanya, who are heading to Miami. Miami. People were anxious about flying during the pandemic, but now that things have opened up a little bit, people are flying a lot. But to see this many people flying now is amazing to me. And experts say that many people are starting their trips early or returning home later because of the ability to work remotely. Other busy travel days here at the airport and on the roads will of course be tomorrow morning, Wednesday, and then on Sunday after the holiday. That's the very latest from LAX. I'm Rachel Menatoff, KTLA 5 News. Rachel, thanks for the update.